Good one? Uh, wow. So, we know you've been given some bullet points, but what excites you the most about the upcoming season? What are you looking for? You know, I'm really looking forward to uh, the relationship between, because now what they're doing is every detective is now required to work with a zombie. <laughs> um, and so that kind of brings Clive back down to the bottom of the barrel again because everyone is like, he knew it. He knew he wasn't, there was something. You know, you were so, there was something, we knew it. So I think that kind of puts him back to where, you know, to where he started in, in season one with people kind of looking down at him. So, but to so live in Clive now have something to prove. And I think with um, the relationship with Dale, being that he's, she's a zombie and it's a situation that he's trying to make work. So it's kind of exploring how to be affectionate, how to be intimate. Non physical, <laughs> without being physical, and do it. And so, you know, I think Clive, uh, Clive is up for the task, and I know Rob and Diane, and the writers, are up to the task of trying to figure out how, how to do that. I think that's going to be, I really think that's just going to be fun to play and explore. So, as you continue to explore your character, is there anything you find you're surprised to learn about yourself? Every episode, I find things I had no idea. I didn't know about Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon. I didn't know Clive had a perspective on that. Um, and I, I thought that was interesting. I didn't, um, Dungeons and Dragons, you know, him being so caught up into that, I had no idea. You asked me season one, I would have been like, hmm? But we evolve and we find out things, and it's, it's like, wow. Um, what else surprised me? Um, the Flash, the whole thing with, um, him being a Flash fan, and also um, his storyline with uh, with um, Wally, Wally Reed and Anna Reed, and this kind of lost opportunity I love in having the fa having a family. Um, yeah, I, I was really surprised. I was really surprised to find that, and it was just it was fun to play. What's been your uh, favorite uh, character that Liv has had to portray when she eats the brains of somebody? <laughs> I think the most, it, it would have to be the Dungeon Master and the Dominatrix. I mean, listen, the, the Dominatrix brain was so funny. It was also just fun to shoot because you're sitting there trying, trying not to crack it up. <laughs> and, and rose with that whip. And it just, it was just hilarious. Also, the school teacher too, because Rose kept walking around with that damn sock up <laughs> And so, it was just, listen, this was the season that was the toughest because being that Clive no, now, he knows what's going on. I didn't have to pretend my reaction was no longer, what is wrong with you? Why are you acting this way? You know, the reaction is just like, can you stop? Can you stop? I know why you're acting this way now, but can you not? You know, or can you get a, a, a get a handle on it, on, on it somehow? So it just created opportunities for different reactions, which kind of loosened things up. And then we're just laughing between every take or laughing during takes, you know, during, you know, particular interactions. Um, but I would say if I had to pick two, it would be uh, those two. Are there any characters or actors you'd like to interact with more in the next season? Yeah, you know, we I always say uh, David Anders, you know, because we're you know we're, we're, we're tight in real life, but we've only probably we only had two scenes together, I think, this interrogation scene when we when, when we um, uh, when we caught him, and uh, and then season one when he was almost he was trying to lure me to, into the butcher shop, onto the back of the butcher shop. So and and, there's, and and Anders is a genius. So it's always just fun. To, uh, I think that'll be fun. And also, uh, Allie. You know, I don't get many scenes here and there with Allie. So I thought that would be the scene that we had this year. I thought was fun too. So Allie. And Robert was saying that he often tries to make you great on set. Always. <laughs> Talk about like the jokes on set and what it's like to be, what the atmosphere's like, and to be paying back. Yeah, yeah, he slaps my ass a lot. Um, <laughs> he slaps he, a lot, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of, uh, a lot of ass slapping. Um, 
Did he tell? Did he tell you any? Did he give you anything? Any? It tell you any pranks that he does? Like the phone, him take it. Oh, that was that. Okay, that was the best one. That was the best one because he's sitting there, and uh, it's the scene where he's on teenage girl brain, and then he's showing me the phone, and I think I, I, think I had to have a picture. Do I have a picture? No, I don't. But he takes a close up of this part of his hand like this. <laughs> Right? And when you don't know what it is, it looks like something else. You know? And so what happens is, on, on my coverage, and I have to be serious, you know, I gotta sit there and everybody gets to laugh, but on camera I, gotta be, I have to be serious. And I'm like, what did you see? He goes, I saw this and she was and and, and she was holding a phone like this. <laughs> and so on my coverage, I'm looking at the close-up of hair. <laughs> I don't know what that is, and my mind is just racing, going, and I, and he, and I think I'm, I don't, did I break? I think I did. I think it eventually got me, and then once that works, then he starts showing me, like, different shirtless.